Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooke. If you guys are new here, happy to have you. This is going to be a current favorite. I just felt like sitting down and like talking through things that I have been enjoying lately. Lifestyle and beyond. If you guys have been keeping up with my vlogs, these are some things that I have been definitely featuring pretty heavily in the vlogs. Just a roundup of really favorites, things that I'm loving. I will throw all the links to everything down below. And I'm also always talking about products and my life and just more updates and stuff like that on my Instagram. So you can always keep up with me on there at Brooke Michio. It's a good time. I've, I've been really into Instagram lately. So let's get started with all of the items i am super excited okay i'm also in a very valentine's mood we have on this like heart little set right here from fashion pass but the brand is beach riot which i can link down below i'm wearing a size large so size up definitely if you get it but it's cute and comfy starting off we'll start with the more random stuff food i have been like really transforming my whole lifestyle here in 2021 in a very positive way and really just focusing on me we don't have to get too into it but I wanted to talk about these two things that have been a must have and great in my routine. This is Premier Protein. I can't even believe I'm talking about like protein drinks. This is so off brand for me typically, if you know. These would sit in my fridge at home. I remember when I was younger and like my brother would drink them, my dad would drink them. I got into these because I heard that they were great to mix with your coffee great as like a midday little snack situation. You could put these in a blender, you know, with a banana, with other stuff. There's really just a bajillion ways you can serve them. I really like using them as a coffee sort of creamer. I do like using almond milk, but instead of almond milk, I will opt for one of these and I really only have to use half of it. Believe it or not, these two happen to be the same serving size. They're just in like different bottles. This one's in a carton. This is the chocolate flavor and this is the caramel flavor. I honestly haven't tried any other flavors besides these, but I will say they're great. You could get these two from like Costco, Amazon, grocery store, really everywhere. I just like that they're pre-done and like ready to grab and go, or you can, you know, do stuff with them if you want to. They're just like pre-mixed. What I do is I take half of this one, the caramel one, recently, and I'll throw that in my milk frother, which is from Amazon. You guys know I love it. I'll froth that up. I'll either just use like plain old iced coffee or cold brew I have in my fridge, or I'll brew for my Nespresso a shot or a double shot of espresso, put that over ice, and then put the cold frothed premier protein over and it's so good because it's already flavored it literally tastes like starbucks with the caramel one it literally tastes like a caramel macchiato like i feel like i'm getting my sugary like starbucks fix in but i don't feel terrible about it because it's quite literally a protein shake. I'll have a little breakfast and then I'll have one of these kind of midday and it really holds me over and I feel just like better about my choice. So this is not an ad by the way, nothing in this video is sponsored. And I'll link below these two flavors. If you have another favorite flavor, definitely let me know. The big boy here. This is the Always Pan by Our Place. Why am I talking about a pan you may say? This pan is just amazing. It comes with a bunch of like little attachments and whatever. I love the lid. And it's basically just your universal pen that you can use quite literally for everything. I just keep it out of my kitchen. I love the purple color. There's some fun colors, so that's cool. It is definitely a pricier item, but the whole idea is that this could basically replace all of your pots and pans. I do still use pots, I guess, for soups and stuff like that, even though this does have raised edges, but I don't know, you know, I still need like a soup pot. But whatever I'm making, eggs, veggies, any of my proteins, they all just get dumped in this pan. It is non-stick. I've heard that the non-stick wears off after a little bit, but for me, the non-stick is still going strong, so I love it. When I clean it, you could literally just like wipe it down to clean it, so it's not like it has to be this whole like soak production. Sometimes I get lazy with the dishes, don't we all? So it's nice that it stays pretty clean. Even just like leaving it out, it encourages me to reach for it more. If I'm like feeling lazy midday and I'm like, ah, you know, I could make something, but I'll probably just do something frozen instead. I'm like, Brooke, stop being lazy, chop up some veggies and throw them in your pan it's already out on the counter it comes with a little like wooden spoon situation that doesn't scratch um i have that in the washing machine right now who would have thought that this would have been like you know brooke cooks no this and my air fryer are pretty much like the two tools in the kitchen i use the most and they really just get me through i will say that i believe it goes on sale so definitely stay up on the sales with them on the whole like new year new me mindset shift meditation who would have thought my therapist and i kind of she taught me the tools of mindfulness and mindfulness meditation that's just like a big pillar of her practice and she actually sent me audiobooks and like a program to do so I kind of did that but shifting forward I was like I don't really know how to transition this and I actually like listening to like a lightly guided meditation nothing too heavy like in my ears but something that kind of tells me what to do and 
centers my thoughts and that's why I really love Headspace. We are working with them on the podcast. I've actually had the Headspace app on my phone since college but I just never used it consistently but here I am using it consistently. The key is you have to like find a time of day that works for you so for me it might not be like first thing in the morning but it's like after I wake up after I have my coffee when I'm like sitting on the couch about to get started for the work day like that's when I do it. This is not sponsored but it's just our link headspace.com slash gals on the go and that will get you a free one month trial so it's really cool. I used to think it was like the most woo woo thing I was like I, I can't get into it what is this but now that I'm in a habit of it I really like it I think it just really centers my thoughts it allows me to see things with a lot more clarity it brings me down I could be a pretty like high chest person and I think that it allows my thoughts to kind of calm down just for a second and obviously you see the benefits of the practice when you do it like over time it doesn't just happen like in one session usually but they do have like SOS or like you know one-time meditations on the app too also I know if you're a student you get a student discount that's why I signed up when I was in college so definitely check it out baths let's talk about it I now realize this is insane but I never even realized the luxury of like having a bathtub all of the places that I've lived pretty much like the shower situation has included it's like a tub and a shower you know all in one so I just never really thought anything of it I was like yeah the bathtub I probably used it like once or twice in most of the places I've lived I just started getting into them here especially in these times that we're in right now I think we're all supposed to you know be slowing down a little bit more so instead of taking like a rush shower after I work out like in between my things that I have to do that day I will slow down take a bubble bath this is my favorite bubble bath it's so great it's the Dr. Teal's foaming bath with pure Epsom salt soothing sleep lavender the bubbles that come from this are amazing we love a good bubble bath it smells really good and it's super cheap um, online so I will have this link down below I love Dr. Teal's in general too I try to be careful with like the products that I use especially on my skin I have pretty sensitive skin and this really works especially Epsom salt baths do like really help with sore muscles and just like through the harsh winter months like it is cold if you live in the north right now or anywhere where it's cold take a bath indulge yourself it's great for my workouts i switched up the routine i strive to do it like four to five times a week nothing like too crazy it seems effective for me people are asking for you know like body related changes i can't really speak on that right now i'm also changing my diet at the same time so it's hard to tell you know what's the result of what but overall um i just feel better doing it and i feel like my endurance is improving and it's 12 through 30. lauren geraldo she is another like youtuber content creator i think she like popularized this so it's basically you walk on the treadmill the incline you set to 12 the speed you set to three and you do it for 30 minutes i love it because i get to just pop in my airpods headphones watch youtube or netflix for 30 minutes it's a hard workout i'm not gonna lie like it the first time i did it i could barely finish now i'm getting better my endurance is up i just think it's great it gives me kind of purpose when i'm going to the gym and i also get to stay occupied because i get to be watching you know a show that i'm into or catch up on YouTube, or sometimes I'll even listen to a podcast, it's great. So definitely check that out, especially if you have access to somewhere with a treadmill. It's just a nice, easy workout. I know I get so confused in gyms, and like, what did these equipments do? But this is like all in one, 30 minutes, you're in, you're out. Let's talk about your Itzia Super Puff. Staying warm these days. Like I said, I live in New York, and it is cold right now. It's in like the 40s, 30s, it can get even below. We only have outdoor dining open here right now, so even when I'm like going out to eat with a few friends, or just going on a walk it is chilly man you gotta stay warm and these jackets they're really great in terms of like winter coats and stuff like that there's definitely heavier duty that will keep you warmer but considering the look of these the price i think they're great so i have two of them actually because i bought this one for myself and then my mom and dad got me this one for the holidays i didn't know that they were getting it for me otherwise i wouldn't have gotten it the black is great they're both in the high gloss medium i get asked a lot i'll link them exactly down below they come in different different lengths they come in different like finishes I think that if you're in search of you know a winter coat I know the puffer coats are really in right now and they have been for a few seasons now so definitely check them out get a color that's like practical for you and your lifestyle that's the other thing I go on the website and I see the fun ones and like the neon colors and I think they are great and amazing but I don't really wear colors like that I say that as I'm wearing this right now but you know it doesn't normally fit in with like all the other stuff in my closet so i'm glad that i have these two sort of just like basic colors it's literally just a white and black if they get any sort of like dirty or whatever you can pretty much just wipe it off because it is like that uh, material which is nice so they clean really easily they both have this sort of like lining on the interior that almost looks like you're wearing like a black long sleeve shirt and it has a little thumb hole which is really nice they both have hoods that are removable too so you can kind of switch up the look i usually just keep the hood on because who knows new york you might get caught in the rain they're puffy but i don't 
feel so big and bulky in them. For size reference, I wear a size medium in those. And they fit perfectly. So definitely check them out if you're on the hunt for a good jacket. Makeup wise, I'm gonna talk about a makeup palette. I never thought I'd be a girl to wear red eyeshadow. Like who is this person? I always saw it on social media and like makeup artists pulling it off and looking absolutely amazing. And I was like, I could never pull that off. I would look like a clown. I just went in one day and tried to do it. And I was like, you know, maybe this doesn't look so bad after all. This is the palette that I'm using to do it. Too Faced Light My Fire. I love little compact palettes like this because it's not like too overwhelming. I'm no makeup pro or whatever. Hey, there you guys are on top of board games. It's the perfect little size. It has all the colors you need. I think it has a good mix of like mattes and sparkle, sparkles, what am I, shimmer is up. <laughs> Me, a makeup artist. I think it's fun to play around with different colors too. Um, and I think that these sort of color tones I have, as I get older, I feel like they look more hazel in my eyes, but they are probably just brown. I just don't want to admit it to myself. And the red really, I think does a good thing. I mean, I've been getting a lot of compliments, so I feel like that's cool, but I also just feel confident with it. So that's always great. I use pretty much these three colors here in the corner, like the darker ones more on like the outside. And then I use like the shimmery ones closer to the inside. Great stuff here. And then I just do mascara. Really fun. I'll link this down below as with everything else. And last but not least, podcasts. I listen to a ton of podcasts. Let me know if you guys want to see me do like a roundup of every single show I listen to. But one that has been standing out lately that I quite literally just like can't wait until Sunday because that's when new episodes are released. I really wish she did two a week is We Met at Acme. I'm so behind on her show. I know she started like several, several years ago and I really just started heavily listening like a few months ago. Dating, lifestyle based. I love the host. Like I feel like I have a connection with her. I don't actually but her name is Lindsay. I think she gives great advice and I do like that she talks about topics other than just dating. She also harps on you know being single in your 20s. It's like a lot of like 20s and 30s based content which to me is really applicable. I'm 23 so it's nice to have her to listen to. She's a little bit older than me but she gives like great advice for people I feel like my age. Just advice on like living your best life but also practical advice very like healthy dating advice which I feel like we could all probably benefit from I love her episodes every Sunday like literally part of my Sunday routine I love listening while I go run errands or while I'm like cleaning up around my apartment it's my favorite and yeah let me know if you guys want to see like a roundup of more podcasts I love I listen like pretty much when I'm home just doing things around the apartment even working I am constantly listening to podcasts like constantly and that is gonna wrap up this video you guys I brought out this Celsius to sip on while I was filming this and I didn't even sip on it so Cheers. Very good. I hope that you guys are all healthy, happy, having an amazing year so far. I am so looking forward to the rest of the content to make this year. There's a lot of other fun like weekly vlog content and stuff like that coming your way. Trying to make the winter months bearable for you, me, all of us because it can be tough out there, let's face it. I love you guys so much. Please subscribe if you are new. You don't want to miss anything in the future. And I'll talk to you guys all another time. Bye.